All right, today we are making grilled pie chicken sandwiches. So good, and I say it like that because the thigh to me is one of the best parts of the meat. Got to pound it out, make it a little thin. I'm going to show you how to do it. So hang with us. Thank you for coming to our YouTube channel, and I hope you love them. All right, tonight we are going to have some grilled chicken thighs. I love thighs. They have really super good flavor in them. I feel like they have more fat. I don't know, I just feel like they have a better flavor when I'm wanting a grilled chicken sandwich off the grill. So, here's what I do. And I will tell you that I buy the chicken thighs at Trader Joe's. They are amazing. They are the most moist and tender chicken thighs ever. So, I have them in a Ziploc, like a freezer Ziploc. And then you take the flat side of your mallet. Okay, this is a meat mallet and pound them out. Just get them a little bit thinner than what they are. They're a little bit thick right at the moment. I don't necessarily trim them up because that little bit of fat that's on there makes them taste really good. So just kind of pound them until they get a little bit thin. That way when you get these on your bread, they're not like this big, fat ball in the middle of your bread. You can layer it and eat them. So I throw them so they get pretty thin. You don't want them too, too thin. I take all the little pieces and sometimes they do fall through the grill. Then once they're on there, I take avocado oil. Avocado oil can go to a really high heat. It's way better and I love the flavor and it's good for you. Just Throw some avocado oil on there. Just kind of rub them down. You can use gloves. I know some of you out there are like, ooh, you don't have gloves on. Well, this doesn't bother me. I have a husband, husband that hunts, so I like dealt with meat, all kinds. So anyways, do this. Get them all nice and oiled up. And then I love this seasoning. You can get it at Costco. You can get it at the grocery stores now. This particular one is buttery steakhouse. So good. So sprinkle a little bit of this on one side and we're gonna be right back and we're gonna go over to the grill and throw these on and start cooking. All right, we are over to the grill. We've seasoned only one side, okay? So we are putting these on and we're gonna let them cook approximately maybe about eight minutes, seven, eight minutes. We're going to cook these for approximately eight minutes on one side, then we're gonna flip them. But before that, we seasoned the one side before we put them down. So now I'm gonna season up the other side and we're just gonna close the lid and let these cook for a while. And then we'll check them in about seven to eight minutes, flip them over, cook another seven to eight minutes if it needs it just to get that nice little grill on it and to get it thoroughly cooked because you want them juicy and tender. So that's it, we'll see you back when we're ready to put it together. Now we're gonna make our chipotle mayo. This I love on all kinds of sandwiches, but especially on grilled chicken thighs. Put on some yummy bread, whatever your favorite is, sourdough, flatbread, whatever it is. So. I've put into the bowl a cup of my favorite mayonnaise, which is Best Foods mayonnaise. Sorry, I just, that's my favorite. And then you're gonna take, and I love Herdez, the brand Herdez. This stuff is so, so good. So you're gonna take the whole can, you're gonna pour it out into a little dish, and you're gonna take like one to two, cause they are spicy. So if you like it spicy, use two. Just kind of take them out and they're, They'll drip a little bit, put them on a cutting board and just cut them up real fine. Or you can drop them into a little mini food processor. I sometimes like a little bit of chunkiness to it. So these today I chopped them up. But it's called Herdez and it's Chipotle peppers. And they have a little bit of a smoky, spicy taste. They're amazing. 
So into your mayo goes your chopped chipotle. Got a little bit of juice going on in there, okay? So you're gonna mix, you're just gonna mix that up. Be careful because you flip this out on anything you're wearing and you're gonna be using Dawn dish soap to get it out because it will stain. So anyways, but it turns this nice little creamy color. And actually, I sometimes, when we do barbecue grilled burgers, I will dip my fries in that because it, it's kind of like a spicy fry sauce. So I also like to put a little bit of onion powder into my chipotle mayo. I just like that little bit of taste. So about a half of a teaspoon of onion powder. Again, just take your fork, stir it up, mix it up, set it aside, put it in the fridge, and when you get all of your food cooked and you're ready to assemble, it'll be done and ready to spread on. So we'll come back and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. All right, we have taken our chicken thighs off the grill. Right before they were finished, we put Monterey Jack cheese on them. And I like to buy the big two pound one and not buy the little slices. Or if you go to the deli, have them cut them thick, okay? But you can just cut them yourself, it's cheaper, and put it on right before they come off. So this is what they're gonna, let me see if you can see that. This is what they're gonna look like. Look at all that good Monterey Jack melted goodness on these yummy chicken thighs, and these are so juicy, okay? So what's gonna happen now is we are gonna take one of these, and we have already put a piece of sourdough bread, and what I've done is just put plain butter on one side, and on this one, we're gonna put the chicken breast. But you know me, we cannot cook anything and not make it spicy. But if you don't like it spicy, you don't have to. But these actually come in a can, and I'm gonna show you. So these are not hot, these are not spicy, but you can go to a place here in Arizona, in Mesa, where we're at, it's called Ranch Market. Or you can go to any, usually any Hispanic store, and they will have fresh roasted green chili, like I tell you, except it's hard to find them whole in the frozen food. They're usually chopped up. So I like to put them whole, but we've grilled them. I throw these on the grill and they add such great flavor, you guys. Put these on. You can cut them also, let me show you. You can pull them apart like that, okay? Pull them apart so they're not so thick, but make sure you get the nice grill marks on them. Gives them that little bit of smoky flavor and put that on. Now, those of you that don't like the sourdough bread or bread period, I have gotten the flatbread and they're delicious on the flatbread. So get you a piece of flatbread and again, Look at, look at how good that chicken is. It is so juicy, you guys, so flavorful. So put that on your flatbread. Put your chilies on there, okay? If you want extra chilies, this one's a little bit long, tear that apart. Again, I always tell you guys, make this your own. Make it to your taste buds. So while that side is cooking, make sure you hustle, hustle, because sometimes that grill just heats up on you and pretty soon you're having to flip that in a hurry. But we already have our cheese and stuff on it, so the only thing we have to have is another slice of flatbread and another slice of sour dough. So earlier we did a little filming of the chipotle mayo. So when these come off, we are gonna put chipotle mayo on these sandwiches. So these are gonna be delish with the chipotle mayo. Then you can stack it however you want. You can stack it with, I've made a plate of sliced dill pickle. I love dill pickle on a chicken sandwich. I have onion, lettuce, and tomato. You can make it your own, okay? 
but keep an eye on it. Look how nice and toasted that is. It is gonna be the bomb. You will love these sandwiches, okay? All right. And look at that. Your flatbread cooks up so good because it stays chewy. Okay, we are toasted on the other side. So we've got both sides of our sandwich toasted. We're gonna pull these off. Oh my goodness, these look delicious, you guys. Okay, we get these off the grill. Now we have our plate of onion, pickle, lettuce, tomato, and earlier we made our chipotle mayo. So good. So open your sandwich up. You've got your green chilies on there. Slather it up with your chipotle mayo. Put some onion on here. Okay, you can break it apart, spread it around so you've got it all over. Let's put a little bit of tomato down there. I like to get the big beef tomatoes. Don't get the little romas for these sandwiches. Give them the happy giant tomato, okay? Because you want it to fit. You don't want it to not be full on there. And of course, you know me, I always gotta have iceberg lettuce. Why? Because it's crunchy and it adds such texture and flavor. If you're a pickle lover, throw a pickle on there, okay? You don't have to have a ton, but put that bad boy back together and do the same thing with your flatbread. Look at that. You can just slather it up with the chipotle mayo on there. It gives it just a little bit of a kick. If you don't like a lot of onion, pull them off like this. Give it some little strings of onion, okay? And then give it those big slices of tomato. Put them on and then give it some more love with a big piece of iceberg lettuce. You can even put a few of them on depending on what you want. And like I said, if you love, love dill pickle, add one to each end, okay? And remember, you've got green chili on it, so maybe you don't want the pickle, but I'm telling you, it is so good. So, here we go, we have I'm gonna turn this around because I wanna cut this in half. I want you guys to see how tender this cooks up. You can stick a toothpick in each side of this so it stays together. That's a little trick that keeps it together. Okay, look at this. Look at how good that is. Does that not look amazing? Here's your chicken down here, your onion, your tomato, your lettuce, your green chili, and your chipotle. It's so good. Okay, you guys, I'm telling you, you gotta try these sandwiches. It is grilling season. Go outdoors, it's beautiful. Hopefully, we're hitting the hundreds. <laughs> so, it's getting a little warm for us, but if we grill late enough in the evening, it works. So, hopefully where you're at, it's beautiful and fun, and remember, Every day is not gonna be a good day, but there is so much good in every day. Go find the good, find a friend, and share a sandwich, okay? See you next time.